guys, it's Jason over at Kaiser Willys, and today we're going to be installing the accelerator pedal into our CJ2A here. We're going to show you all the linkages, we're going to try to get you into there so we can show you how this arm is going to attach to the accelerator linkage behind the block. It's going to get a little tight, but we'll try to get you in there. Uh, basically, this tub is not set up to then have this already, the hardware is not already drilled, so there's no holes for this. So we're going to be marking the holes, drilling some holes catching everything, getting the springs and all that kind of stuff installed. So let's get in there. All right, guys. So here we have our accelerator pedal. Uh, this is the one for the L head. Uh, as you can see, this is going to come just like this. All of these pieces here, uh, this boot is sold separately, but what comes in these accelerator kits, it's going to be the arm here, which is a ball and a socket. So that little ball is in there. It's plugged into this little socket. You can see that this arm has a spot for a cotter pin. That's going to connect to the accelerator linkage that is located on the back side of the block. It's the piece that pivots back and forth. And then down here, you have a spot for where the hinge will attach. So let's talk about a couple of these pieces here. So the first piece, this is gonna be your hinge bracket. So if you think about this in terms of the vehicle, this is how it'll sit in the vehicle. So then when you have this, this hinge, you've got to put it on just like this so that you can mount it to the bottom of the floorboard. So you have this, you fit it in place. You've got this pin, which you will run through. It's gonna get kind of tight in there. Turn it so that you've got the spot right there for the cotter pin. Slip that cotter pin into place, and then we'll fold it back and we'll get that tight together, and then we'll start putting this into the vehicle. So that's how this is all gonna go to, uh, in. You've got your accelerator dust boot. This is your dust boot. So we have the import version and we have the US made version. So basically this is just going to cover up that uh, the arm as it's in the actual vehicle. This will slip down into that hole and then now you won't get any sort of debris or dust or anything like that inside the uh, floorboard. Also comes with two, hole, two screws and nuts. You've got countersunk holes on this bracket. So we'll drill a couple holes into the floorboard because my new body tub doesn't have those in there. So we'll figure out where we're going to need it and we'll mount it. And then right here, we've got our retracting spring, and that's basically just a little spring that'll go in there. We'll show you how that fits together. But these are the components for the accelerator pedal. So let's get inside the vehicle. All right, so now that we're in here in the vehicle, you can see this is where the accelerator pedal is going to go. You can see that hole right there. That's where the, where the arm is gonna go. What we've already done is we've attached this boot here. Uh, just slide it all the way up just so. This part of this boot is going to stick into that hole. So, so that we can get this other end here in place so that we can then mark where we're gonna drill our holes, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the uh, throttle linkage or the accelerator linkage that's on the back of the block. There's a little arm down there. We'll go ahead and just kind of fit this into that hole figure out where this is going to then naturally lie, mark our holes, drill those, and then we'll be able to go ahead and mount this. So what we've got, we've got the pedal in and it's uh, hooked on, onto the other side of this you know, accelerator bracket that's on the block. So what we've determined is we don't have exactly enough of the um, pedal showing on the inside of the bay or inside of the uh, floorboard. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to adjust this throttle rod. So you can see here, this throttle rod has threads on it, which makes it adjustable. So what we did was we popped the pin out of the carburetor side. So there's a cotter pin holding that in. So now we can adjust this rod. There's a little nut here. If we back that out to the position that we wanna test it at, then we can screw this rod in, just righty tighty, tighten it up on that other side, and it's gonna essentially shorten this rod up. When we do that, it's gonna protrude further into, because this thing teeters, so it teeters back and forth. So as you shorten up one side, you lengthen the other. So that is gonna give us a little bit more room on the accelerator pedal shaft. So we're gonna do that now. 
All right, guys, so what we've done here is we've actually got our bracket in place. We drilled our two holes, we mocked everything up, we shortened up the linkage and got everything kind of where it needs to go. So now when we put this back on here, put our spring in place, put the pin through, and then lock everything down, everything's gonna be in the place that it should be. As you can see, we've got our boot there, around from the front. We've shortened up this rod. We kind of went ahead and shortened it up all the way and we'll just adjust every little bit that we need to from there just to make sure everything's in place. I can't, I can't get you guys a good shot of below, but this rod here comes down, connects to the back side of the engine block, and you have a rod that's almost exactly like this, but just on the other side down there. That's where that rod from the accelerator pedal attaches to, and there's a cotter pin in there. You can't really see it because it's just, it's a little too tight in here, but that's what we've done. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our pin or our spring and everything onto the accelerator pedal. And then everything for the accelerator pedal will then be in and we can start messing with the carburetor. All right, so now we've got uh, the hinges in place. We've got our cotter pin in here. Everything's in place. The little spring uh, is right behind here. So it's all ready to go. We've got our pedal. The pedal is operating the way it's supposed to. So we've got the boot. The boot is behind there. You can barely see it. Uh, but we do have the boot there. So everything is installed with the pedal. So that is installing a pedal. Not only that, it's installing a pedal onto a new body and where you're supposed to do uh, what you're supposed to do and lining it up. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.